You feel a little tired, but much better than yesterday. With the school you're drawing to close, you really shouldn't miss any more time. You decide to go to school today. Outside the school district, you run to Cohen Dice down the road. Hey, you you back already? Glad to see you're doing better. Want to jog the rest of the way to school with us? Dice King, you're going to kill him. Give the dude some time to cover before we start running marathons. I need to do that. Right. I'm really still that sick? All right, if you really need it. Dice King gestures for you to climb on his back. <laughs> Dice King, don't fall for that. <laughs> Damn you. You're going to have him eating out of your hand at this rate. Oh, I was kind of serious. Talk with Cullen Dice as you walk to school together. Alright, let's go flirt with Kanji some more. Senpai, you busy? Wanna go hang out somewhere? What should you do? Cool, let's go. You walk through the school gates with Kanji. So, uh, I hope this doesn't sound too weird, but... Do you wanna come over for dinner? I told Ma how you helped me study and she suddenly insisted that I ask you. You know, say thanks for that and for helping out with that time. Anyway, to make me happy too, it's the least we could do. That sounds good. Alright, let's get going then. Kanji's in a good mood today. Aww, going to the base house. Uh, senpai, Kanji-kun, are you heading home? Naoto has intercepted you by the gates. Oh, hey, hey Naoto. Yeah, we got plans today. I see. In that case, Senpai, please let me know if you have some free time soon. Some work came up recently and I'd greatly value your- Ooh, I'd love to hang out with Naoto. I don't think you actually can. <laughs> uh, by the way, kanji -kun, I heard you did well on your quiz. Excellent work. They're great tutors. Oh, thanks. Senpai helped me cram for it. He was a big help, so I asked him over for dinner to thank him. Yes, he is quite remarkable. Well, no. well then I won't keep you any longer. I'll see you to tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Now to leave through the gate. Despite what he told you while you were studying together, Kanji didn't seem nervous at all talking to Naoto. His moon seems to have suddenly soured, however. Anyway, come on, we shouldn't keep my way. We sold Kanji. Hatsumi Textiles, you had an enjoyable dinner with Kanji and his mother. Kanji was unusually quiet. After dinner, you went to the living room with him to relax. You should come over, senpai. But if you got somewhere to be, don't let me keep you. Kanji seems subdued. In fact, you seemed down ever since you met out now to outside of school. You decided to ask him about it. Oh, yeah, that. You know, for once I didn't even feel nervous when we saw her. I thought about it some more after we studied last time, and I, I guess I finally realized there's no point. She just doesn't see me like that. Good. <laughs> I don't know. It, like, I feel like that's kind of mean. <laughs> oh. I mean, okay, Leanne watching a program, so it's about their note, her note, then her note TV. Leanne would be good, <laughs> but you're actually there. I uh, want like I don't like. I feel like that'll just be like. I I feel like that'll just make him more like reserved. I want to like be empathetic. She's not really the type for Valentine's chocolates, but I I gave you Valentine's chocolates. Seems to me if you wanted someone to know you'd like them, that'd be a good way to do it. Exactly! She didn't give me any, though, so I guess she's not interested. But you don't gotta trick me around, Senpai. You already knew that. Kanji's voice has turned surprisingly bitter all of a sudden. I, I don't get your way. You gotta be so obvious about it. If you liked her, why don't you say something instead of letting me make a fool of myself this whole time? What?! Kanji seems to have completely misunderstood the situation. He thinks there's something between you and now. We have literally been flirting with you nonstop. It feels like the time is right. Yep. Yeah. It, it's not. What do you mean it's not? I, I can tell you weren't thrilled when I asked you for advice about her last time. So obviously I, I wasn't thrilled. Why the hell would you act like that if you weren't interested in her? Yeah. Ah! Serious? You're trying to be funny. Kaji is gaping at you completely at a loss. You are serious, aren't you? Holy shit. I don't know what to say. I, I mean, you're really awesome, and I uh, 
I, I like you a lot, but... Sh shit, wait, wait, this is coming out all wrong. Ponchi is stammering so hard he can barely string a sentence together. It seems like he isn't ready to respond just yet. <laughs> Sorry, this is kind of sudden. I, I might need some time to think about this, you know? What's there to think about? I feel like it's the thief. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Alpine. I knew you'd understand. Knowing you're willing to give him space makes Kanji relax a little. I have a relationship expert! Just give me a little to fall to figure this out, okay? I'll promise I'll give you an answer. That's your line. Why am yeah. I saying it? I'm sorry, Just I'm give no. Me a little while to figure this out, okay? I'll I promise I'll give you an answer as soon as I can. You confess your feelings to Kanji. <laughs> The content's the social link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the upper arcana has grown. However, Kanji is not ready to respond to you just yet. You agree to give Kanji some time to think about it, your confession, and decide what to do about it. There is nothing more you can say for now. You say goodbye to Kanji and his mother, then head home. Man, switching between like my own commentary and Kanji was like not easy. Outside the school district. You and Chie meet each other on the road, oh dear. Morning! Hey! Glad I'm glad you're feeling better. We had to stop Teddy from going to your place <laughs> while you were sick. He can be a bit much to handle even at the best of times. Good call. Oh, speaking of Teddy, is it just me? It doesn't seem like he's being the talk of the town recently. I noticed that. Right? I mean, he just kind of stands out. I feel like I'm not on point today, my Chie. You're not bad. People must be pretty curious about him. I bet he loves the attention. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going to laugh at her. It was fun. No, I, I don't know what her laugh is. I don't remember. It's okay. I'm just like, trying to remember it. Get the character. <laughs> It'll go to his head before we know it. You talk with Chia as you walk to school together. I just like, kind of try to put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Is that what she does? No, she doesn't really. She just like kind of emphasizes words mm. loudly. Really loudly. In gold, not so much in the original. Well, it's different voice actors. Exactly. Yeah, no, it just changed the recording. <laughs> you had a pleasant lunch with Kanji. I, I, I really, I did not like Chia's voice for the first like 10 hours of the game, but I still. Oh no, it, it still grew on me. Yeah. But like, every person who starts playing Persona for the Golden is a little like, at first. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I've not talked to anyone who was, who was in it, like, in the first, like, whoa! Yeah, just cause, like, it's so... not... average. Like, not your average. Yeah. I also see that she was, um, Erica in Catherine. You can hear that. Is Erica the waitress? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Another day- Ooh, let's see! Kanji! Let's see how he replies. Senpai. Do you guys wanna go hang out somewhere? What should you do? This is something that's always there. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about our feelings, bro. The feel hill overlooking the town. Kanji brought you here to talk. You sit on the gazebo bench with him in silence, while he musters up the courage to say something. You can do it, man. So, uh, I I've been thinking about what you said the other day. First off, sorry for freaking out. That probably wasn't the reaction you were hoping for, huh? You, you really surprised me, though. No way I could have given you an honest, honest answer like that. Kanji shifts next to him on the gazebo bench. He's nervous, but pensive. You know, I, th I thought I'd put my shadow behind me. I thought I'd decide to quit caring what people, when people didn't understand me and start making them understand. When you said all that stuff, I, I guess all that insecurity just came rushing back. Suddenly I was worried that this time the person who wouldn't understand me was you. Oh, baby. So I want to take my time with this and make myself as clear as possible. Kanchi takes a deep breath. At first it felt like you were making fun of me. Then I thought some more about it. I, I knew you wouldn't do that. You're not that kind of guy. That's, that's what I like about you. I look up to you a lot, you know? Like when the guys came to rescue me that time, I thought you were pretty cool. That's strong on the outside, but inside, you were the kind of person I wanted to be more like. So, so when you said, you know, you liked me. Kanji is clutching at the end of the bench like he expects <laughs> it to eject him at any se a second. Scared the shit out of me, but at the same time, 
I was really happy. I don't think I'm anything special, but if someone like you can like me, it's hard not to feel at least a little bit proud about that. It's more than a little. Well, let's just take it one step at a time, huh? At least let me finish what I was trying to say. Kanji finally plucks up the courage to look at you. I wanted you to accept me, but I wasn't brave enough before to do the same for you. So, I'm sorry. I think I'm ready now. I, uh, if you still want to, I... You'll go out with me. Yeah. Yeah, I will. <gasps> to me, so I'm really glad to know you like me too. Kanji has accepted your feelings. The consciousness of your soul has reached level 6. Your power to create personas of the Emperor Arcana has grown. You said yes, you said yes. Yeah, I know. You're fangirling enough for me to hear any of my what I'm watching. <laughs> your relationship with Kanji has become intimate. Oh my god, it's happened at level 6? Yeah, Yosuke, it's like not until level 10. No homo. It's like, it's like, Yosuke, shut up. Phew. I'm glad that's over. I was so damn nervous about it, I could barely hear her sleep. I think it was worth the stress, though. I know you're leaving to go home soon, but I'm glad I have the chance to be closer to you before then. Kanji is smiling shyly. He looks happier than you've seen him in a long time. You spend the afternoon talking with him about various things until it gets dark. Kanji walks you home and says goodnight outside your front door before parting ways with you. Hello friends! If you're watching this, I just want to say thank you because this was really my first foray into a Let's Play series, a playthrough of a whole game, and it has been so successful. I, I was worried people would stop watching the videos after, you know, the first or second Persona 4 video, but you know every every video I've uploaded has got steady viewership, and I just want to thank you so much because you know if you had stopped watching them, I would just stop making them, and they were so much fun to make. And it is with a heavy heart that I say that even though this is not the end of Persona 4 New Days, this will be the end of the Let's Play series because if you watch any of my vlogs or you just notice the background's different, I. I'm back at school in, uh, in Swarthmore, right, right outside of Philadelphia, and Leanna's also back at school, and we don't go to the same school, not, we don't even go to school in the same state. So unfortunately, you know, I debated with myself whether or not to uh, keep doing them, but do all the voices myself, or have another one of my friends here at school come and do it with me, but Leanne was just so perfect, and so she did so many of the voices so well that... I thought that anyone who el anyone who came to do the voices in the voices in her stead would just be compared to her, and I either to me or to you all, I don't think they would be able to live up. And for those reasons, I decided to not continue. But I do think if it could have ended anywhere other than the the actual end, I thought this is an alright place with us finally having entered into a romantic relationship with Kanji. I have had so much fun doing these videos and once again, thank you for watching them. If you, please, if you want to see what, hap what happens to the rest of the game, download it. Play it on your computer. My computer's a piece of shit and it can still play it fine. I'm sure yours can. There will be a bonus episode, if you will, next week with just some stuff that happened towards the end that I couldn't fit into the official last episode simply because it, it it didn't quite go with the flow of it, but it's still, I think, entertaining. So keep an eye out for that bonus episode next week with some fun stuff between Kanji and Naoto and a fun little experiment in cooking. <laughs> and once again, thank you to Kelly. She is the woman who made this game. She programmed it by herself in her own free time. And, you know, she, she even shared this Let's Face series on her, on her Tumblr, and it was just so awesome of her. So, if you want to support her, go download this game. Stay tuned here to Games with Friends, because I will definitely have more Let's Plays for you in the future. And with the success of this one, you know, I still I don't want to stop doing, you know, shorter individual Let's Plays, such as what I did for 
everybody's gone to the Rapture or Rocket League. You know, I'll still have these one-offs, but I do think I'll start doing more, more series. So, stay tuned. See you around, friends.